guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to wear my makeup when I am wearing glasses. If you didn't know, I have worn glasses since I was a little girl. So growing up, obviously, I just hated wearing glasses. I think that's pretty common. Um, but as I got older and I learned how to wear my glasses, I slowly started to learn tips and tricks on how to make the glasses be an accessory to my makeup and my face versus my glasses just taking over my whole face and my face getting lost and just being seen as a person who wears glasses. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I consider this an everyday type of look. I do feel that when you wear glasses, you kind of have to play up the eyes a little bit more intensely than a typical natural look because the framing and stuff is so dark you kind of want to balance it and so that's going to take a little more depth and more color so without the glasses it might look a little more intense but with the glasses it just perfectly balances and the eyes don't get lost I look put together and I don't look tired and it's just it has been the best way I have found to wear my eye makeup when I want to wear my glasses out. So in this video, I do already have my face makeup on, my foundation, bronzer, blush, all that. So we're just doing eyes today. And I will be using both of Jaclyn Hill's palettes, but these are just colors that you can find in almost any palette. I'm sure a lot of you guys have these colors. So if you like this look and you're interested in how i achieved it um just keep on watching welcome back to my youtube channel it has been such a long time since i filmed and uploaded a video but here i am and i have a makeup look that i wanted to share with you guys and it has to do with glasses so i just wanted to share a look with you guys that is kind of like an everyday look that is super simple, neutral, and just impactful when you wear glasses. Okay, so the first thing is going to be to have your eyebrows filled in. I already pretty much had my eyebrows filled in. I'm just going to double check, make sure everything is good. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is use a highlighting pencil to highlight underneath the brow. And this is just going to help, you know, distinguish your eyebrow and separate it from the frames of your glasses. some translucent powder under my eyes because I already have my makeup on and I don't want the eyeshadows to fall out and make a mess so this will just catch it okay so for today I'm going to be using both of the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palettes the original and the volume 2 so I'm going to start out with a deep brown you obviously don't need this palette to create the look this one is called chip i'm going to use this one here it's kind of like a warm chocolatey brown and i'm using like a short little brush here so what i'm going to do is just pack it onto the lash line this does not need to be like perfect or anything you're just kind of just get it on there gonna kind of taper into the center just so it's not as heavy as this part here you just want it to be really really intense there so just make sure you pack it on 
Okay, now I'm gonna just finish up the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna take some from the new Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the shade Homebody. These are super, super pigmented, so use a fluffy brush and you kind of want to diffuse it, you know. So we're just going to pack this onto what we had going on here. I'm just keeping this on the lid. Don't go up into the crease or anything. Just a clean fluffy brush you can just kind of blend it out if you need to okay now I'm gonna take perfectionist and I'm just gonna use that for the crease and to kind of blend it out of like a gradient effect. you're not really trying to create anything precise on the eyes it's more of like a backdrop for your frames so just keep that in mind we're not trying to do like cut crease you don't even really need a wing when you wear glasses okay so now I'm gonna go in with a black charcoal pencil this is Urban Decay in the shade Perversion. And this is going right into my waterline. All the way across. Just on the top. Just really want to intensify the framing of the eyeball. of my eyes I'm going to start off by using a brown eyeliner this is the Urban Decay 24-7 in the shade Whiskey and this one is going into my lower waterline too much makeup for an everyday thing so when I'm trying to soften that I use brown okay now I'm going back into the shade chip from the original Jaclyn Hill palette on the same little brush here and I'm just going to kind of use that to smudge out the liner again using kind of a small blending brush it's the same one I used on top and I'm just going to sweep that underneath and I'm going to bring it down pretty far 
So just remember that when you have your frames on, there's so much going on from here to there and you don't want to leave this bottom part empty because then it kind of makes you look tired or it looks like you have under eye bags like I don't know what it is about it but I just feel like if I fill in that space a little more um, it kind of just balances out the whole lens frame I'm bringing it down pretty far shade perfectionist again basically the same three colors I used up top I'm using on the bottom and I'm going to continue this down and just kind of blur it out and create like a soft ombre just nice and blown out So now would be the time to pop on some lashes if you don't have lash extensions like I do or also your mascara. I cannot put mascara on my lash extensions. So what I do is I just use a damp spoolie and just clean up all the powder from my lashes. Make them nice and fluffy. I'm just going to put mascara on the lower lash line. This one is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. powder okay guys so this is my everyday type of makeup that I would wear if I were to wear my glasses out in public on a daily basis this is what I do so I have the blue light thing on my glasses so it's kind of hard to capture you don't really see it in person, but when there's a reflection coming, you can it's you can see it. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is my version of a daily makeup look for glasses wearers, glasses wearers, people who wear glasses. I just think that it still looks super soft and daytime along the natural side of makeup. Uh, it's pretty intense without the glasses, but with the glasses, it kind of just balances everything out. I just feel like glasses can be so heavy sometimes. It's how I prefer to wear my eye makeup so that my eyes don't get lost in the glasses and instead they are piercing through the lenses. <laughs> so this is my makeup for glasses tutorial. I have been wanting to do this video for such a long time and i am just now getting around to it so i'm so sorry but if you find this video helpful i would love a thumbs up and maybe a comment i don't know if any of this makes sense but <laughs>